are having a blast over here because right. happening this weekend, the 42nd Annual Greek Food Festival. And look who stopped by here on the news at four. <laughs> this is Taylor Dudnock here with the event. Uh, Taylor, what can we expect this weekend? Oh man, we got great weather in the, in the books, so um, great food as well. Um, all sorts of options of Greek food, Greek pastries, you can't go wrong with any of the options. We have some here. I hope you guys stuff your faces soon. Um, Greek <laughs> dancing, church tours, um, Greek live Greek music as well. Um, so lots of great stuff that we get to show off this year. Um, we have great Greek wine as well. Um, Greek beer is a new one this year. Mm. Um, all of our beer, nice. local beer, is from Boise Brewing. Um, we're also serving Idaho Kombucha Company, which is a new addition to the menu this year, so we're super excited to add that to the menu. Um, and one of the great things about the Boise Greek Food Festival is the fact that a lot of the proceeds that we mm. make, the profits, um, go back to the community. So Life's Kitchen is one of our biggest um, supporters of the festival. They help prepare a lot of our food. So we donate back to them and give from our hearts, um, as well as Seven Cares. We also donate to you guys, and um, we're very grateful for all the representation that you guys provide us. Um, and for supporting us as well. Um, Larry Gebert was a, a big part of our mornings with the Boise Greek Food Festival preparing, and we miss him dearly. Um, Jim Kinnis, our previous yeah. chairman, he um, was very close friends with, with Larry, so we all miss him dearly. Oh, yeah. yes. I mean, going back to what's new this uh, this year, because this is a wonderful tradition that we have here in the mm -hmm. Treasure Valley now, um, really, uh, can you expand on what we can see, what, what new items, what new things we're going to be able to see this year? Yeah, absolutely. So as soon as you walk into the festival, um, you're going to walk in and smell all the smells of the mm -hmm. food. So um, souvlaki, you can't go wrong with souvlaki. You got your yido, um, which is amazing. Falafels, um, salads, all those types of options. Um, like I mentioned, vegan and vegetarian options for everybody. Um, the drinks are amazing, so can't go wrong with any of that. Um, what else? Imports. We have lots of great Greek imports that we get to um, sell to our, our festival goers. Um, so you can't go wrong checking out some of the great stuff that comes over from Greece and um, is authentic. So. Uh, with with a lot of what Greeks do is everything comes from the heart So we like to bring people to our church and show them food, right? Food is something that we all love um, Greeks especially love food and love providing hospitality So that's never something new but something that we always love to provide for our festival goers I'm thinking about the souvlaki right now. I'm getting a little hungry yeah. I know folks are gonna want to know you mentioned the church. Uh, where's the event happening and again? Where can we find some more info on Yep. So Saints Constantine and Helen um, Church is on the corner of 27th and Bannock um, the festival is going from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. So you can also check out our website um, for more information. And our menu is there, so you can go uh, find out what you're going to have for the festival and be ready to eat. Okay, well, we do have to take a quick break here. But before that, can you tell us the, the correct pronunciation of a gyro? A gyro. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Not gyro. <laughs> Not gyro. You heard it here. All right, we got to go to break. We'll be right back after this.